Hey, good evening. It's uh, Tuesday, April 23rd. Welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Thank you for being here tonight. It's um, such a privilege. We're looking at Proverbs 4, where David is the speaker. He's the grandfather, the father to Solomon, the grandfather to the sons that are being addressed. And David, out of his rich life experience, is telling his son and grandsons, there is nothing more valuable than wisdom. Though it costs you everything you have, get wisdom. Then David talks about the wonders of wisdom and how much it blesses us and protects us. But then last night we started looking at verses 14 through um, 17, 14 and 15 last night, where there's warnings against avoiding evil. So we saw that last night, six commands in verses 14 and 15 to avoid evil at any cost, to get away from it. Now, tonight in verses 16 and 17, we're going to see exactly why evil should be avoided. Evil is addictive. We reserve that just for substance abuse and certain pleasures, but evil and the fact that it is deceptive, it's alluring, it tells lies, it draws us in, it's addictive. And we're not prepared for that. We think we can think our way out of anything. But if you give yourself to evil, it's got you. For Psalm 14.1 gives us, says this, the fool is said in his heart that there is no God. They are corrupt, their deeds are vile, there is no one who does good. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. That is the foundation of evil. I know that's kind of a broad stroke, but that's what evil is. Acting as if there is no God. Acting as if I or you are the final reference point that we alone get to decide what is good and what is bad. No, that's God's province. But we have an entire culture that is living as if there is no God. That makes us as a culture fools, turning away from what is right and just and good. But there's a trap there. It's not just about making a choice to do one thing and I'll think my way back through it. No, it's addictive. Listen to what's said here in Proverbs 4, verses 16 and 17. Talking about they, the they here are the people who are evil, who are not, who are living as if there's no God. For they cannot sleep until they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. They eat the bread of violence and drink the wine of violence. I'm sorry, they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. You see what it's saying here? It's a craving. Paul talks about this craving in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. And he says, before we knew God, we, our flesh, we were living for the cravings of the flesh. That's what's being addressed here. It's an addiction. It may show itself in the form of substance abuse, but it may show itself in the form of a power abuse or the abuse of wanting praise or the abuse of hurting people, the abuse of pleasure. All, life is about pleasuring me. That becomes addictive, and it dictates us, and it rules over us. And Solomon is saying in the strongest possible terms, run from it. You can plug whatever scenario of life you want, but if you're living as if there is no God, and if you're living as if God is your servant to do what you want, then you're living like a fool. That is the substance of addiction. I've known and worked with too many people 
addicted to substance abuse. But I've worked with just as many people who are addicted to the abuse of their own pleasure. Men who hoard it over their lot, lord it over their wives and demand subjection and obedience. People who cannot think straight unless they are the center of attention. For they cannot sleep till they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. That's a description of the people who want to overthrow God's institution of marriage. They live and breathe and work day and night to give us all kinds of alternatives different than marriage. Just check your news feed. Check the news programs. Check social media. There's all this energy to get rid of marriage. And people are scheming and thinking of all the reasons why marriage and sex within marriage is wrong. And they're giving us alternatives. That's addiction. That's what's being said here. They cannot sleep till they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. They eat the bread of violence. I'm sorry, they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Someone who's obsessed with making money is just as obsessed with that as someone who is caught into a substance abuse addiction. You can't turn it off. As Paul says, money never satisfies. When you live in a way that is not consistent with who God is, and you act like a fool who acts like there is no God, you are opening your door to addiction, your heart to addiction. It may not be what we would call an evil, disgusting crime, but it is a crime that will destroy us just the same. Wisdom is seeing that if we turn away from God, we're on the path of evil, and that path is addictive. And that's the thought for this night. Give us some thought. Get back to me. Realize that Psalm 14, 1 is true. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And when we live that way, we're on the path of evil, on the path of addiction, on the path of destruction. God's word is that blunt. I'm trying to be that blunt for us. Let's run from evil. Thank you for being here. Love your thoughts and feedback. Please, any thoughts about this video tonight, please let me know in the comment section. Let's get in touch. Thank you so much. And um, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Good night.